Are you ready for this? Are we live? I think we are, yeah. Hi Malaga and welcome to the very sunny Dubai. It's a fantastic day to talk about the 345 GC with Gary and myself as we have a lot of exciting cost saving features that we know you are really going to enjoy. So let's get started by introducing you to the 345 GC, which is a new contender from Caterpillar on the 45 class tone of excavators. It fills the gap of its predecessor, the 340D2, and brings with it more weight, more power, and much more saving for our customers. As you can see, the machine is redesigned from bottom up. It has a dedicated chassis that takes the track gauge of the 349D2 with 2.74 meters, has a track length of 5.03 meters that takes the 44 ton excavators that produces 346 of pure horsepower which is 24% over the previous 340D2. This machine comes in two configurations. The rich configuration, the one that we see here, with the boom length of 6.9 meters, two stick options, the 2.9 meters and the 3.35 meters. Both sticks can take a bucket up to 2.41 cubic meter bucket in heavy duty. Now the second configuration is a mass excavation configuration and it comes with a 6.5 meter boom, two stick options of 2.55 or 3 meters in length. The most common bucket selected for this configuration is a 2.77 cubic meter that can work in densities of up to 1.5 in weight. This also puts this machine into a, an unbelievable productive class for the 45 ton size machine. Now also, this 345GC is able to carry up to a 4.3 tonne hammer, very similar to that of the H180. And you would normally find this size hammer on the 50 tonne class size machines, such as the 349. Now powering the hammer, we have now embedded the, the auxiliary hydraulic circuit within the machine in the factory to help enable reduced costs. Now, keeping on the track of optimizing the 345 to help reduce your operational cost, let me tell you about some changes we've made within the hydraulic system also. All the way from the operator joysticks, all the way down to the hydraulic pump is now controlled by electro-hydraulics. So what we've been able to do is to remove the dedicated pilot pump from the machine. So enabling us all to reduce the three horsepower that is constantly needed to drive the system. You will find similar electrohydraulics across all of our range of new Caterpillar excavators from 20 ton to 95 ton, helping you reduce your operational costs. Gary, as you are in this area, we uh, should also mention all the savings that you have achieved with the maintenance, which goes hand in hand with your operating cost. With the removal of the hydraulic pilot filters and also all the hydraulic hoses from the joystick to the control valve to the pump. Don't forgetting also the reduction by 22 liters of hydraulic oil needed to run the system. We are bringing the operational running cost significantly down at each interval. The same for the maintenance cost by extending the interval change from 2000 hours to 3000 hours for the main hydraulic filters and the non-capsule type filters for the pilot system and the case drain replaced by a mesh and magnet. So basically we are going from 15 filters every 6,000 hours to only two. In addition to that, the high fuel efficiency filters that brings the interval change from 500 hours up to 1,000 hours. The same for the engine oil filters. All this to give you a number, so bring your maintenance cost to 20 to 25 percent down compared to the 340D2, plus more uptime because we have less maintenance. Yusuf, I really like what I'm hearing here. And did you know that the 345GC is also equipped with the new Caterpillar C9.3B fuel-efficient engine, and that puts this machine into one of the most fuel-efficient excavators within the 45-ton class. Now, if you follow me around this side. Keeping that engine running at its optimal temperature is also the, the new on-demand hydraulic fan. Now the new hydraulic on-demand fan also has the option for an auto reverse to allow you to blow the debris out of the, the cores of the radiator. If you go back to its predecessor, the 340D2, you will find that the cooling system is run by 
belt and pulleys that are connected to the engine. The slower the engine runs, the less cooling capability you have with the machine. Also, the previous system on the 340D2, it drew a lot of power from the engine to, just for cooling. By removing that, it's also added to the fuel efficiency that we've been able to increase with the 345GC compared to the 340D2 by 18%. Also, as you walk around this machine, you may have noticed some areas where we've increased handrails and grab rails, and we've got a lot more of them. But also, what we've increased here, we've increased the capability to do the daily maintenance from the ground level. And this eliminates the operator climbing on and off the machine, reducing risk and increasing safety. Talking about maintenance, Gary, we need to show them the new air filter so on all next-gen hex excavators. Now, the pre-cleaner so is integrated on the filters. We have the small turbines that eject 90% of the large particles. But also we have double the size of the dirt holding capacity. So we improve the life by a minimum 15% compared to the old generation of filters. Ingress and degress has also been increased on the machine as well. So now you can see I have very good grab handles to get in and out of the machine. So at all points of time when I'm climbing on the machine, I have three points of contact to eliminate a fall. Now I've been operating machines for over 30 years and I've seen many different series of the Caterpillar excavators during that time. And I've got to say that this one, I don't mind sitting in for 12 hours a day. Now, let me just explain to you that the visibility here around this door area has been increased by 9% and forward through the window has been increased by 6%. And that's because of the new ROPS design that comes standard from the factory um, with no additional costs. So let me bring you into the machine. So first of all, I no longer have a key to start this machine. I simply turn the dial here, the display lights up, and I simply engage a, a four digit cut security code into the machine. Once the display starts up, first thing I see is the rear view camera. So I have visibility behind me to see if anybody is there or if the car is parked there, increasing safety around the machine at all times. Now the machine is started with a simple push button. So some things I want to explain to you around this machine. So first of all, I have a, a panel of, of different options here that are located very close to my hand. And with these, just one push of the button, I can, I can turn my LED working lights on and off. I can change the speed of the tracking system, engage my wipers, wash the windows, etc. Also in the display, I'm also able to do very similar functions as well. Display is very intuitive, very much like your smartphone. So you can just touch around if you can work a smartphone, you can work the display very easy. If you don't want to use the display, I also have situated here what's called a jog dial right next to my, my right hand lever. And this works kind of like a mouse on your, your PC. So I can use it, I can push it around and the little arrow will go around on the display and I can select what I want. Once I'm in the display, one of my favorite things in here is the Bluetooth capability of this machine. So I can pair my phone to the, the machine. So not only allowing me to listen to my music that I selected, but also it has a hands-free system in there. So if there's a problem further down in the field and the supervisor rings to tell me to stop loading, I can answer the phone by the simple push of a button. So no longer needing to try and multitask or increase in safety. Also the operator's best friend is the seat. So I have additional adjustments for leg room, I have additional adjustments for armrests, which is very important because when operating an excavator, you have to have your arms and elbows in a very comfortable position to get the most out of the operator. We've also now made the safety belt of a seat belt orange, so it can be seen outside very clearly. Along with this, there's also the optional 
uh, adjustment on the backrest and the, the headrest that you would normally find on, on any machine. Um, Yusuf, I think I've just about covered everything at a high level here. Is, is there anything else you want me to cover? Thank you, Gary. I think we did the tour. So Malaga, if you have any question, otherwise the stage is yours.